Maybe welcome sorry for a shorter way. Not a special welcome to the council, family members, friends, and residents. Special shout out to former mayor Fred Ness and Ted Siegel. We're going to make sure you all appear. So, to get us started, please welcome Grace Rolls uh, for a senior at the Old Newfoundland. Services. 
whatever can be made as a sculpture for our residents. While it was very challenging, COVID has also had some positive non massive impacts on council operations. It forced towns across the country to look at digital transformation in order to operate under COVID lockdowns. We were lucky that we had already started a process of digital transformation at the town hall. We moved our operations and financial software to the cloud, which allowed business continuance for some employees with the ability to work remotely during shutdowns. Council also shifted from in-person meetings to virtual meetings. Our active living and recreation programs shifted to virtual events to help ensure all our residents were engaged during the pandemic. More work is planned to streamline our operations and improve digital access to services and information for all our residents and businesses. We also reached quite a few milestones over the past few years. Unfortunately, COVID prevented us from having in-person celebrations like we had hoped, but we did try our best to celebrate these milestones uh, virtually. For example, in 2021, it was the 70th anniversary of Cancer Corporation. It was also the 70th anniversary of the opening of the Carmel uh, Royal Canadian Legion, Carmel Branch 27. It was the 60th anniversary of both the Carmel Fire Department and the 60th anniversary of the Carmel Modern Hockey Association. In 2019, White Hill celebrated its 30th year of operation. In 2020, the Flying Blades Figure Skating Club celebrated their 50th, 55th anniversary. As CA Alder resident, I feel strongly that our town has tremendous potential and will be a growth center for this area for many years to come. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the outgoing council for all the work you have done the past four years, to Mayor Russell and Councillor Mitchell. We wish you all the best in your future endeavors and thank you both for your decades of service to our community. To the newly elected council, I welcome you as you take the oath of office tonight. I look forward to working with you over the next four years for the benefit of our community and our residents. I'd also like to thank Krista Barfoot and Lynn Powell for stepping forward and putting your names on the ballot. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Our community is best served when people are engaged in community leadership. Next, I would like to welcome you know, Mr. Lloyd Carrier, the NHA for Terry Mullen, who agrees on behalf of the Richard Thank you, David. It's not a right speech, but I knew you would say it all. Uh, it's a real honor to be here. Four years ago, I was here in a different role. I was getting sworn in myself. So, um, you know, when you look at what a town council does, uh, town council in Carmel does everything. The town council is a shining example for the whole province of various volunteers. But when you put your name on a ballot, uh, it's a big deal. So, everyone who entered into this race certainly needs to be applauded and commended. And people are successful. Also, I believe that. Town Council and Carmel have been supported throughout the years with tremendous staff, and uh, it's a real example of how to work get working relationships between a, a volunteer council and uh, you know the employees from the town come together to make things happen. Mm -hmm. Just to mention a few things. You know we got a, a brand new fire hall and a brand new town hall, and uh, it's a big deal when you look at both of these facilities and understand that the town Carmel did this on their own. There's no assistance from the original government, not one dollar. Uh, and they deserve a huge, huge, huge head off from everyone in this town for what they've managed to achieve in the last four years. And, and I believe that what they've done in the past four years will continue to happen under this new leadership. It, it's always a pleasure to see a diverse group of people come together. And this year, it's great to see that we finally have some women back on council. Uh, one of the greatest lessons I learned after I left the military and I sat around some boardroom tables and, and different things is that there's no perspective any better than what smart intelligent women bring to the table when there's lunch and dinner when I think they know everything. And I think that uh, two of our new councils are going to do it, the council here and do that this time around. Um, so I, I won't stay here very long. I'd just like to do a big congratulations to the new mayor and the new councillors. I'd like to say thank you to Brad Nichol and Mayor Best. 
for her time with being secretary in the past, and then the other previous counselors of the MS. Uh, same is said. You know, some people didn't enter the race, some people lost the race, but at the end of the day, the people got exactly what they voted for, and I think the town kind of will be well served by that. So, congratulations, and I look forward to working with you all over the next four years. successful four years. Finally, thanks to everyone Mayor Russell and those who have served over the past years to make Carmel a great town it is today. Your service is greatly appreciated by all. Sally and Sharon Rogers, NP, Bureau, about us to be your trinity. Tonight's uh, ceremony will be officiated by Mr. Greg Pittman. Greg is a long time resident of Marvel, having moved here about 45 years ago. He loved growing up in Marvel and was involved in many activities and organizations. Greg felt that Marvel offered a wonderful lifestyle with just the right amount of rural and urban mix and a location accessible to much of the province. So after finishing law school in 1991, he decided to move home and he has been uh, practicing law at Middle South State Twine. Law as it says. Greg believed it would be a great place to raise a family, and now feels he made a great choice after doing so. Greg has enjoyed seeing the kind of grow and improve its infrastructure and recreational facilities over the years. He looks forward to seeing what improvements that can take place over the next four years, and he wishes the newly elected council, councillors an enjoyable term. Thank you, Mr. Pittman, and please welcome Mr. Pittman to you. Thanks. Okay, so I will introduce each individual counselor one at a time. After I finish your quick file, I'll ask you to join us to put them on stage, step up to your mic, and we'll uh, read your class. As you come up, please just grab your phone here on the corner. Okay, I'm going to have to go over. Mr. Bill Bailey. Bill, Bill was born and raised in Shaw Harbor and has lived in the town of Carmel for more than 60 years. He is married to Eugenia Bailey and has one daughter, Michelle. Bill attended high school at Homer High Educational School, now called College of North Atlantic, here in Clarendon. He is a certified level four claim adjuster and has 48 years of experience in that field including extensive contract adjusting with EMOs in Newfoundland, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, and Alberta, completing catastrophe claims. He has owned and operated an adjusting business in Carmel for 40 years. He was a very active member of the Carmel community, both personally and professionally. He is a retired member of the Clerical Fire Department, a previous business school board trustee, a previous member of the Clerical Rotary Club, and a previous member of the Eastern Waste Management. Currently goes to Trump River with the Final Warrior Ski Club and is an avid long distance squatter, skier, and hunter. Now, the Council of Bill has served on several committees over the past four terms uh, as Councillor, including Public Works, Recreation, Arts and Education Committees, and is also the chairperson of the Arts and Staff Program. This will be Bill's fifth term as Councillor for the Town of Clarkville, and he's very eager to start working with his newly formed council. Please welcome Mr. Bill Bailey. Thank you. 
table in Solomon Square and I had three phones my remote office counselor from the U.S. Valley of Clarence, which I had been appointed. I had not knowingly contravened the Municipal Elections Act respecting any matter in relation to my election or appointment. I will faithfully, to the best of my ability, perform the duties and responsibilities of my office and will not allow any direct or indirect monetary or personal or private interest to influence my dialogue or affect my public duties. I will disclose any personal or direct or indirect monetary interests that I have in a matter before the Council and will not participate in discussions or vote on any such matter. I will, if required by law, file an annual company of papers disclosure statement and I will, as required by the Municipal Elections Act, Municipal Elections Act, uh, file a campaign contribution to this public statement within the required time period established by the Act. So help me God. Thank you, Councillor Bailey. Next, we have Don Morgan Ryan. Don, Ross, and David, and some known as Ruth and Hiram from Bonham in 2007. The daughter of Ron and some known as Ryan, granddaughter of Louise, uh, reside in Calgary, Alberta. Don has been employed in Eastern Health as a social worker for approximately six years. Prior to this, Don was employed as a client service officer and career development specialist with advanced, skill, advanced educational skills for approximately 10 years. Don has a degree in social work from the University of Manitoba, a degree from a knowledge certificate from Royal University of Newfoundland, and a legal and executive administrative diploma honors from the Toronto School of Business. Don is an active follower of political and career events, welcoming national and international. As well as a passionate advocate for the community of Parma. Donald volunteered on a right and a right of local groups and organizations, including President of the Rotary Club of Parma, Chair of the Parma Trails Committee, Family Member of the Soul Sisters, Board Member of the Bonavista Biannual, Chair of the Bonavista Biannual Community Advisory Committee, Member of the Parma Heritage Society. Member of the Smith Sound Film Festival, Chair and Member of the RJF Parish Council, Member and Finance Administration Committee uh, Discovery, UNESCO Global Geopark, Board Member of Carmel Consumers Co op, Member of Carmel uh, Co op Alliance Law 5050 Committee. With all this, I'm not sure what you're going to fit in so much that we'll, uh, we'll say. <laughs> Donna Huston, David Anger, German short hair pointer wing, our avid hikers, and lovers of the great outdoors. This will be Donna's first term on council, and she's eager to get working with the council. Please welcome Donna Moore. Of my conduct or affect my public duties. 
I will disclose any personal, direct, or indirect monetary interest that I had in a matter in a matter before the council, and will not participate in the discussion or vote on any such matter. I will, if required by law, file an annual certificate conflict of interest disclosure statement record, and I will, as required by the Municipal Elections Act, file a campaign contribution disclosure statement within a required time period established by the Act. So help me God. Next we have Keith Miller. Keith has lived and worked in Lionel for the past 27 years with his wife Tina and two children, Ryan and Kathleen. He has worked for the past 36 years as a technician with Bell Life, currently serving as a union co chair with the company's Eastern Newfoundland Occupational Health and Safety Committee. Also representing unionized workers as Honorable Human Chair and sitting on the Provincial Executive Board and Eastern Regional Representative in the Union Board. This will be his second time on the Council, being elected in a law election in 2019. Since his election in 2019, he has served as Chair of Recreation and Community Development Committee and has enjoyed being a part of a group of dedicated individuals, improving the health and vitality of our residents. He is proud and honored that the people of Carnival have again put their trust in him as their elected representative on the council. We look forward to working with the new the council for the enrichment of our community. Please welcome Mr. Keith Pillar. Next we have Mr. Solemnly swear, I am fully qualified to hold the office of Councillor for the Municipality of Clarence, to which I have been elected. I have not knowingly contravened the Municipal Elections Act respecting any matter in relation to my election for appointment. I will faithfully, to the best of my ability, perform the duties and responsibilities of my office. I will not allow any direct or indirect monetary or other personal or private interest to influence my conduct or affect my public duties. I will disclose any personal, direct, or indirect monetary interest that I may, that I have in a matter before the council, and will not participate in the discussion or vote on any such matter. I will, if required by law, file an annual conflict of interest disclosure statement, and I will, as required by the Municipal Elections Act, file a campaign contributions disclosure statement within the required time period established by the Act. So we're helping you out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He has been a lifelong resident of Fireville, is married to Carmel Duke, and has two children, Leah and Andrew. This will be his sixth term on the council. He has served as deputy mayor on the council during the past four years. He has served on the finance committee of the council for over 20 years, public works and planning committee for eight years, and the human resources committee for eight years. He is re retired from his career with Service Canada as a business Enterprise advisor for over 34 years. He was a member of the 1994 Newfoundland Labrador Winter Games Post Committee, a member of the 1997 Canadian Major Boys National Softball Championship Post Committee, president of Golf Newfoundland and Labrador 2002, a Newfoundland Mission staff member for the 2007 Canada Winter Games. 
Chair of Registration and Results for 2014, Newfoundland and Labrador Winter Games, and a member of the 2015 Alpha Hulse Committee. He is currently a Houston representative for Golf Newfoundland and Labrador, Hall of Fame Committee, his hobbies include hunting, fishing, hockey, camping, and golf. And if you want to find anywhere during the summer days, that's the book here on the golf resort. Here we would like to thank the residents for support, support and look forward to working with the Olympic Collective Council for the next four years. Please welcome Mr. Cooper Smith. Solomon Square, I am fully qualified to hold the office of Councillor in this proud department to which I have been elected. I am not only contributing the Fiscal Elections Act respecting any matter in relation to my election or appointment. I will faithfully, to the best of my ability, perform the duties and responsibilities of my office and will not allow any direct or indirect monetary or other personal or private interests to influence my conduct or affect my public duty. I will expose my personal direct or indirect monetary interests that I had in the matter before the Council and will not participate in the discussion or go on any such matter. I will, if required by law, file an annual contract of interest to school stadium, and I will, as required by the Municipality Elections Act, file a campaign and contribution to school stadium within the required time frame established by the Act to help me out. Here, Next we have Deidre Strobridge. Deidre is a business instructor at the College of North Atlantic and brings the position a well of experience, modern diploma in computer studies, and an MIS Bachelor of Education from Secondary and Bachelor of Business Administration. Community involvement is important to Deidre. She has served as faculty advisor for the Congo campus. Uh, CNN and Actors team for the past 15 years. In this role, she has worked with her students to help create and develop programs for the Glenwell area that focus on educating students in financial education, providing entrepreneurship opportunities, and implementing projects to meet the social needs of the community. These are also nice to have a client as an offer and enjoy spending quality time with her husband and Mary while taking advantage of the trails of biking, snowmobiling, Hiking as well as boating and camping. This will be Deidre's first term on the council. Please welcome Deidre Stroker. To Solomon Square, that I am fully qualified to hold the office of counselor to the municipality of Cairo to which I have been elected. Okay. Um, I have not only contributed the Municipal Elections Act respecting any matter in relation to my election or appointment, I will faithfully, to the best of my ability, perform the duties and responsibilities of my office and will not allow any direct or indirect monetary or other personal or private interests to influence my conduct or affect my public duties. I will disclose any personal, direct, or indirect monetary interests that I have in the matter before the council and will not participate in the discussion or vote on any such matter. I will, if required by law, file an annual conflict of interest disclosure statement, and I will, as required by the Municipal Actions Act, file a campaign contributions disclosure statement within the required time period established by the Act. So
Next, we have Paul today. Paul is a post secondary educator in Toronto, where he has been with the College of North for the past 30 years. A lifelong interest in politics, particularly municipal politics, coupled with the encouragement and support of a great community and some great community leaders, were instrumental to Paul standing for a third term as Harvard's and Harvard's Council. For Paul, it is truly a privileged opportunity. Paul has been an active participant in Toronto's growth. He was involved in the council related projects, helping improve community communications with his Our Town Bible page, community correspondent for CTV, providing opportunities for students, and serving on numerous community boards and committees, including the Town 70th Anniversary Committee, White Hill Board, Brandon Bates Family, 2014 Mutual Land and St. Mary's Anakin Church. Paul, supported by his wife, continues to work towards making time a place to want to live, work, and play. Paul holds a master's degree in business administration and a bachelor of arts degree in political science. Paul and his wife, Evelyn, are outdoor enthusiasts, enjoying all, all our region has to offer. Paul is thankful for supporting and received, and looking forward to working with the Living Electric and Advanced. Please welcome us to Paul Tilly. Thank you, thanks for coming. So that concludes our six councillors in the Intervention Town Council. Next, I'd like to introduce your new mayor, Mr. John Pickett. John is my colleague who moved to Claremont 40 years ago, and it was here that he raised two children. Glory to Michael. In John's professional career, he was a social worker and a manager of government at Eastern Health for 43 years, until his retirement in March 2017. During his time in Glenville, John has been an active community volunteer with many groups and organizations, and in 2017, he was named one of the 150 faces of Glenville. He is currently the treasurer of the Grand Lake Family Committee and a volunteer for the Crest Senior Transportation Service. He has been a member of the Conrad Town Council for four terms, having served on the council from 2005 to 1997, sorry, 2005, from 2009 to 2013, and more from 2017 to 2021. On September 28th, with the support of his family, friends, and residents of the community, his lifelong dream of becoming mayor of this wonderful town finally became a reality. 
John looks forward to working with the community at the council and residents over the next four years. Please join me in welcoming your newly elected mayor, Mr. John Bishop. Respecting any matter in relation to my election or I will faithfully, to the best of my ability, perform the duties and responsibilities of my office and will not allow any direct or indirect monetary or other personal or private interests to influence my conduct or affect my public duties. I will disclose any person direct or indirect monetary interest that I have in the matter before council and will not participate in the discussion or vote on any such matter. I will, if required by law, file an annual conflict of interest disclosure statement, and I will, as required for the Municipal Election Act, file a campaign contributions disclosure statement within the required time to establish the Ready Act. So help me God. You may stand in there and ask uh, Mr. Pittman to present the mayor with the chain of office. Enjoyable place to live. 
I would also like to invite Joe Nalis, Mr. Bartlett, and Mike Powell to offer themselves as candidates in this election. Despite the fact that you are not successful, I hope that you will stay engaged in municipal politics and hopefully consider putting your names on the ballot again in the future. I would also like this time to take, take the opportunity to thank two members of our past council. To welcome Mayor Fraser Russell, your time and commitment to this town as a councillor, deputy mayor, and mayor over the past number of years has been outstanding. You have made a tremendous contribution that you and your family should be extremely proud of. To Councillor Ryan your service and commitment to this town over the past number of years has been really appreciated. Your contribution, particularly in the field of sports and recreation, has had a positive impact on our town, which will continue for years to come. On behalf of this council, and indeed all our residents, our sincere thanks to you both. And Rob is here, so this is a great afternoon. I am extremely honored to be elected as your mayor. This would not have been possible without the help of my family and friends, many of whom are present here this evening. Your support and hard work over the last number of weeks is what made my dream to become mayor of this wonderful town possible. To all the residents of our town, I am indeed humbled for all of your support. And I promise with your help, and the newly elected council to make our town the best place in this province to call home. Your new council will officially start working on your behalf tomorrow. Our first meeting will be tomorrow evening, where a deputy mayor will be selected, and I will announce the new committee structure and the members of council who will be assigned to those committees. In closing, I would like to thank our town staff in preparing for this event this evening, to our CEO, Dave Harris, our director of corporate services, Angela Giles. We've got a little here to do this evening, by the way, she doesn't have it. Brad Newberg, our recreation director, and his staff, Stacy there, and Brad, and he lights and light come for us. Thank you for all of your work. Also, I'd like to thank Greg Pittman, a friend of mine, for taking his time out of his busy schedule. He was really, really busy. He notes <laughs> to perform the square again this evening. Thank you very, very much. And also, my thanks to Grace Rose for her, for her wonderful scene. Thank you, Grace. So, thank you all, and I look forward to working on your behalf with all of our council for the next four years. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That concludes our swearing in ceremony this evening. Well, calls us out. I, again, I ask if Grace Bowles come forward to sing the national anthem. I ask that we would stand. Thank you.